right, the students at Columbia University or the employees at <laughs> Goldman Sachs look a little younger this week. There's good reason why. Adorable. Allison Morris is here to tell us about a new partnership that's working to get women excited about STEM. Hello. Guys, this was so exciting. And you know, STEM is like the big buzzword now. The science, technology, engineering, and math, it's the hot thing, but we want to get more women involved. These are rapidly growing fields. They have tremendous career opportunities. In other words, these are great jobs with good pay that are helping to change the world, but they are seriously short on women and particularly women of color. So Columbia University School of Professional Studies and Goldman Sachs are offering a week-long program that started today to help more than two dozen women in New York get a head start. My name is Dijanae Belson. I just graduated from Dr. Susan S. McKinney Secondary School of the Arts. My name is Maram CC and I go to Prompts Academy 2 High School. So my name is Diamond Lewis. I go to Brooklyn College Academy. I'm a rising junior and I'm 15 years old. These three young women among 25 outstanding New York high school students. They were all nominated by their schools or a local nonprofit to be part of Columbia University's School of Professional Studies Girls in STEM initiative, a week-long program happening at Columbia and Goldman Sachs. They're taking classes in math. Um, they're hearing from a host of mentors uh, from Goldman Sachs so they can see See what these professions really look like and then they're teaching uh, they're taking classes also in building college skills like reading and writing and research three four five six seven eight so do you guys see that this pattern is going to continue stem is underrepresented by a lot of women young ladies and especially young ladies of color so we want them to know that to dream big to be bold and when, when they leave here we want them to leave knowing that this is a field that they can definitely get into. And some of these young women are already well on their way to careers in science and math. I'm about to move to Tallahassee to go to Tallahassee Community College. I'm definitely excited about studying for forensics because I've always wanted to be a forensic scientist slash forensic anthropologist. I want to be a neonatologist. Whoa, that's awesome. Yeah, so it's a doctor that these are premature babies. And since this is a STEM program, like, I wanted to learn about like other fields, like maybe if I want to switch a fields or I want to meet people with different, just like engineering. Like I wasn't really exposed to that. And today, like we had this whole introduction about different engineering jobs. And so now it's like kind of giving me more opportunities in the future. Columbia already hosted STEM weeks in Miami and San Francisco, partnering with the Miami Dolphins and Microsoft to teach women around the country to dream big. You can change the world by how you think. Anything you do can change the world in a positive way. The program just started this morning, but the girls are already working on a research paper on women in STEM, which they have to turn in before the end of the week. This is no vacation. Most of them told me they rode the train to Goldman this morning by themselves, some of them for the very first time. A lot of them got lost. Later this week, they will try making their way to Columbia on their own. It is just a wonderful week of learning both career and life skills to help them get ahead in the future. So exciting. Wow, it's great. Very impressive that mm -hmm. they all were jumping on the train well, by themselves and sliding their in. way. That's a good investment in the future. It is really great. I'm glad they got to do that. Thank you, Allison. Thanks, guys.